Hello YouTube, this is Johnny. This video I'm going to quickly show you how to enable the boot menu on your Acer laptops and this would work on other versions. So right now here I have difficult to go to the boot menu. So in this video I'm going to turn on the computer. Then I'll click F12 to go to the boot menu. F12. And F12 doesn't seem to work. It will just load to the windows. So I'm going to click long press the power key to turn the PC off. So when the PC goes off, in my case here, I have my buttons here not working very well. I'm going to be using the keyboard, the wireless keyboard. I've connected it here, as you can see. So I have the USB drive with Windows. So I'm going to click the power key. Then I'll click F2. F2. To go to the BIOS system. So when I go to the BIOS system, it's not visible here very well. Let me bring the laptop closer. As you can see now, I want you to go ahead and click the right arrow key to go to the main, what you see here, main, the right arrow key. Then when you reach there, for the arrows, I mean this arrow here, these arrows, right arrow key. So let's come back here again. So in the main, you have to go down and look for F12 boot menu. In my case, mine is disabled. So you go here and enable that boot menu by clicking enter, then you click the down arrow key, then click enter, then after that you go and scroll to the boot, boot tab here, then you make sure it is in legacy support. So after that you're going to click F10 to save changes, F10. I'm clicking F10 on my keyboard and you do the same F10 then you save changes then when you save changes I want you to go ahead and click F12 F12 while the computer powers on you click F12 so after this I recommend every time our boot menu has worked, but we don't see the USB. So I'm going to just switch it off again. I'm going to power it off. Then after, I'm going to turn it on again. But, so after you turn on your PC, again, then you click F12. So F12 will take you to the boot menu. And our USB now is being seen. So after that, you're going to click enter on your, uh, on your boot, bootable USB drive. And this is going to load the files. In my case, I'm going to pause and wait a little bit. So when you see the progress bar, that means our Windows files are being loaded from the USB drive that we have input. And then this will take us to the Windows itself. And this is where we, we get our Windows. In my case, you can use Windows 10. Any Windows, you can boot also any other operating system. So thanks for watching. If this video is helpful, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to click the bell icon in order to get notified whenever I upload useful videos like this. Have a nice time. Goodbye.